Al Flaherty's Outdoor Store. Hunting, camping, fishing, shooting sports since 1947. Hello everyone, welcome back to Al Flaherty's. My name is Brian. Um, here today, we've got a special treat for you. Uh, we just received a package from our friends down at Buck Knives. Um, and here it is. Uh, we always get excited when we see these pine boxes with the limited edition band around the outside. Um, so we're gonna take a look together and see what's in this box and uh, give you a first look at it. Okay, so let's get this rubber band off here first. Be careful not to let it fly across the room, that would be bad. Um, let's pull it out and let's see what we got inside here today. So opening the box up, first of all I see is the handle is protected by this uh, padded wrapper here and it's cellophane taped to a uh, wood, to a cardboard sleeve to keep the blade protected and to keep people from carrying their hands. So let's see which limited edition knife this is today here. So, as you can see, hopefully the camera is focusing up on it now. This is the Buck 640 XL. Uh, so the 640 series is a tribute to six employees at Buck Knives who have been there for 40 years or longer. So they help come up with the design by consensus to kind of celebrate and to recognize uh, the achievements there. So this is the 640 XL. So this one is based off of Buck's uh, popular 124 line, the, um, which has been made for, for many years. And the, the 640 XL edition has been limited to the combined total years working of these six employees. So it is 259. So the six employees uh, for Buck Knives have 259 years of experience. And these are all numbered. And the edition we have here is number 69 of 259. So we're very proud to have this knife here at the store. Um, so a little bit about the knife here. So it's made from the Boss Tempered 440C that Buck is famous for using. Uh, they do wonderful work with this metal and make fantastic blades of it. Uh, it is a um, modified clip point or a buoy point on it. Uh, it has looks like custom file work at the back, which is very, very nice. Uh, and with the engraved uh, 69 out of 259 on the blade. I'm not sure if the camera will focus on it. We'll do close-ups later anyway, so we can take a look and better look at it. It has silver nickel uh, bolsters here with elk antler uh, scales with uh, buffalo, I suspect actually bison uh, uh, spacers here on the uh, on, on the grip here too. So it's a very beautiful knife though. Let's put this down and let's see what else is in the box. So digging through the box more, we get to see a beautiful distressed leather sheath. Um, very nice, thick leather, single stitched with the embossed uh, anvil, the buck logo on it. And on the back, American flag, proudly made in the USA with the number of the, uh, the model number of the knife underneath the model 640. So a very nice sheath with a nice little clasp on there too to keep the knife secure. You don't want to lose this one. Uh, what else is in the box here? We got our certificate of authenticity. Signed again with number 69 out of 259. And also in the box too for some of the people who may not be used to uh, working with natural materials. Just a little reminder that natural materials do have their own uh, character, so to speak. So that every single uh, knife from this line is gonna have a slightly different uh, leather grain to it for the sheath and the antler material, the horns, always gonna look a little bit different. So it's not flaws of this, it's just character of natural materials. So there you go there. Uh, and of course the box itself is very nice. Um, the reverse side of the box here, again hopefully the camera will focus on this, it does give you the specs for the knife as well to on here. So let's cut for now and let's give you a closer look. Okay, so close up now of the Buck 640 XL. So get a good look at the natural leather sheath on it with the uh, Buck logo on there. You should be able to see it now. Hopefully the camera is focusing on it. And again, the backside with the model number embossed inside there and with the proudly made in 
Amer in the USA with the American flag stitching. So the stitching is very nice on it. Well finished too on the leather there. But let's go on to a close up of the piece that you're all looking for here. The actual knife itself here. So let's see if you can get the camera to focus on the blade work over here. The model number engraved there. So beautiful. 440C. Nice satin finish to it. The guard here with the uh, the silver nickel and you can see the bison the buffalo horn spacers there with the elk antler uh, scales on or stalks on it if you prefer so very clean look there I'm sorry for my fingerprints on this we'll wipe them off after before it puts back in the shelf there but you can see the variation there on the uh, antler material too very well nice blended in there with a slight finger grooves into it there so you have a very positive grip onto it now let's see if you can focus now here on the back of the spine you see the custom file work there very beautiful as well too and then turning it around here the limited edition 69 out of 259 and the uh, boss temper logo and the 440c on there so there you have it there beautiful knife there beautiful uh, scabbard or i should say sheath for this one and uh the box there hopefully you see it will focus on there and we see the uh, box too also has all the descriptions of the knife on there as well so beautiful package okay so there you have it everyone this was a quick look at the Buck 640 XL, again, based off of the 124 General. Again, the 640 is a limited edition produced by six employees at Buck that have been working there 40 years or longer. So congratulations to them on their tenure there, and thank you to them for producing this beautiful knife, uh, which some lucky person will get to take home and enjoy and hand down for hopefully generations to come. Uh, so there we have it there, the, the Buck uh, 640 XL. Uh, we here at Flaherty's are happy to present this knife to you and we'll be presenting more items to you in the future as well. So if you'd like to keep um, appraised of the new videos that are coming through, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and to uh, follow us also on Facebook and Instagram so you can have updates on what's going on in the store. And don't forget to also visit us at alflaherty's.com for all your outdoor needs. Uh, so thank you again for watching, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.